Okay, and back with part three of episode three of The Orphans. And all I can say, a lot of crazy shit going on. So let's just dive right in. Diary of Sister Brown. Oh crap, I never A few days have now passed since I've taken Amelia away. I've decided to visit the family and inquire about her well-being. On my way to the house, I was increasingly overcome by a feeling of uneasiness. It seemed to me that I was getting colder the closer I got to the house. The singing of the birds gradually gave way to a leaden and uneasy silence. And when I reached the property, I was overcome by a deep sadness. The grasses and plants had withered. The cattle in the stable seemed to have starved to death. Dead birds were on the ground as if they had fallen dead from the sky. As I entered the house, a chill came over me. The comforting warmth of a home full of love had given way to an icy and merciless cold. To my horror, I found Amelia tied to a bed. She was making sounds similar to those of a dying animal and speaking in languages unknown to me. Her thin arms and legs assumed grotesque postures as she tossed and turned on the filthy mattress to free herself from her restraints. Drool ran from her lips and her eyes glowed with anger. Cold sweat stood on her forehead and the veins on her temple stood out wide as she roared and raged. It was obvious the poor child had been affected by demonic forces. I continued through the house and found the lifeless bodies of the family. Amelia, or rather the evil that was inside her, had driven this poor and devout family to their deaths. I was in despair. After all, I was the one who had brought her to this house. Unknowingly, I carried the evil across the threshold. It was I who brought death to these poor people. How was I ever going to repay that debt? So I decided to confront the forces of damnation and send this godless being to the depths of hell. I invoke the evil spirit that indwelt Amelia. May he spare the soul of this innocent child. I pray to the Almighty to cast out this demon and free Amelia. Hours passed. Although I had succeeded in fighting the godless creature and binding it to this place, the poor child had not survived the exorcism. May the Lord forgive me. Okay, had a bit of a hack that we had to block. That was interesting. And now we've got an unknown talking to us. Great. I think it's that one of those brotherhood members, that's all I can say. Oh, isn't that person charming? Definitely was a surprising outcome. An outcome of result. I mean, that was crazy. Wonder if it was that person trying to hack my phone. Oh yeah, she got a call on his phone. I wonder who that was. Probably the same person who messaged us.
Mm-hmm. I do remember. It was too obvious. I mean, he's been kind of pointing us away from the Brotherhood, and now we get a message like that. Oh, nobody springs to mind right now. I mean, there is the police, there is the judge. I mean, any one of them could be members. Possible, possible. <laughs> yeah, definitely good to go with that option, I think. Now there's conspiracy going on along with a supernatural haunting. That is wonderful. That does suck. Mm, crap indeed. Saved a note. What sits on clouds but hangs on a nail? It sits on clouds but hangs on a nail. It sits on clouds but hangs on a nail. the same picture.
Yeah, the one I couldn't figure out. I'm waiting. Oh, hello. Possible. Hmm. Yeah, the demon seems absolutely obsessed with Amelia, so why her? Hmm, definitely something to think about. Yeah, I mean, it can't all be the same demon, can it? Easier said than done, that's for sure. Yeah, thankfully my battery's still good. Just need to know in case I need to charge my phone. Oh, I've been digging, I've been digging, but it ain't an easy, especially with all the ones I have to use. Listen up. It says, your curiosity is not yet satisfied, is it, my darling? I knew you would eventually access my cloud. Now you've solved my little riddle. I wonder if you can figure out my password too? <laughs> and guess what? There was a riddle included. Wait, I'll send it to you. More puzzles, great. Oh, God, he really loves puzzles. You're kidding, right? <sighs> Great. Do I have to solve all three?
complete the sequence of symbols on the left. Well, if you look at these two at the top, that looks like a reflected image. I have to choose the correct number. I don't know, four. Three or five. Okay, that helps. Let's take a look at three and five. I'm going to say three. Red square moves one step clockwise each time. Oh, okay, I got that one, number three. Which lock does the key fit? Great. All right, let's look at it. I think it's seven. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I mean it looks like the shape fits. Oh good, I got that one. Somehow I get the feeling you would. Okay, so three and seven. Just one more, just one more. Oh great, I'm gonna be screwed too, I suck at math. Which number belongs to the triangle? So, yellow plus yellow makes 18, so, yeah, 9, because if you add 9 and 9, you get 18. All right, so, that's 18, so that's 9 plus 9, so that's 18 there, then we minus the circle, and that gives us 11, so... The circle has to be seven. Okay, so the circle is seven. So seven times nine gives you nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, thirty-six, forty-five, fifty-four, sixty-three. So that's sixty-three. Then plus the square to make eighty. Sixty-three plus seventeen equals eighty. Yep, so that's 17, so 17 
minus 7. Oh, wait, that can't be right. Okay, the circle is 7. Oh, God, I suck at math so bad. Okay, so we got that one. It's 9 for that, so 9. Okay, so 9 plus 9 here, that's, so that's 18 there. So if we want to minus the circle, then... 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Yeah, so the circle's 11. It has to be 11. No, it's 7. 7, the circle is 7. So then we got 7 times 9, which is... 7 times 9 is... Okay, 7 times 10 is 90. 7 times 9 is... 9 times 9 is 81. 72, 63. Okay, so... But, so circle... So that's 63. And to equal 80, you have to add the square. So 63, and then the square must be at the 10. That's 73. So 17... So 17, so the square is 17. Square is 17. Okay, so 17 minus 7. So 17 minus 7 equals 10. And if that's 9, so the answer should be 1. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like I said, maths is not my strong suit. Oh, did I get it right? Thank God. Oh, I am so not good at maths. Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah, I was not sure if I was right. Damn you, maths is all I can say. You're one big headache. Well, of course, they're still encrypted. Of course we do. Of course we do. Yeah, you do that. And I'm going to call it there because, oh, thinking about all that math, that just drains my head. I suck at math so bad. So, thank you all for coming, hope you enjoyed the vid, hope you were able to put up with my terrible mathematics skills. Oh, God, I hope that's the last of the maths in this game, I really do. So yes, thank you all for coming, don't forget the, uh, you know, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time, take care.